Tonight Wednesday Brendan Rodgers will aim to mastermind another famous victory over continental opposition in paradise, as the Scottish treble winners go head-to-head -head with FC Astana of Kazakhstan in the UEFA Champions League playoff round. With a match of such magnitude, there will be huge expectation and pressure on the hoops, but they will go into the crunch clash, heartened in how they negotiated this same hurdle last season against Hippoil Beersheva and the steely resilience they showed in putting Rosenborg to the sword in the previous round last season. He told this week's Celtic View they have seen that and they have produced that over the course of the season. They have dealt with pressure moments really well so they know the formula for it. We need to have high energy but we need to trust the team and our vision of the game, and we saw it in the last round. We weren't at our best in the home leg the opposition came and defended very deep and we found it difficult to break them down, but we went away and played a really composed game, a real quality level of football and eventually we made the breakthrough. It will maybe be the same case over these two legs but we must ensure we always stay in control. Astana will be a familiar foe for the Celts, with the teams squaring up just over 12 months ago in the qualifiers, and the composition of the Kazakh champions side has not greatly altered, with the Irishman identifying winger Patrick Twumazi and targetman Junior Cabanama as the dangerman. The striker and winger are the main threats, he said. Both players are looking to leave the club but I'm sure they won't be allowed to leave over the course of these two games. They are a strong outfit, physically, and it's been difficult for them travelling away, and the record shows that. We will anticipate a tough game but we will be looking to make this home leg a real advantage. Celtic will go into the game on the back of three domestic victories in the space of six days, with a scintillating 51 triumph over Kilmarnock in the League Cup book and by league wins over Hearts and Partick Thistle. This was a highly satisfying outcome for Brendan Rodgers. Last week proved to be a very good week for us as a whole, he said. We had our first two games in the league and a game in the cup, and we scored 10 goals and conceded one. The performance level over the course of most of the three games was absolutely fantastic. The Hearts game was very good, we scored goals, though we gave away a loose goal at the end, while the Kilmarnock game was a joy to behold really in the fluency and aggression in our defending, all aspects of our ideas were very good. The Partick game was our third game in less than seven days so naturally there was going to be a little bit of fatigue, especially around this time. But I also think we can't be too disappointed to go away from home and win 10. I will always look for performances that is how we wish to play and it's how we work and that's what has got us into to the position we are in, which is doing well and setting an expectation. But I can never get away that it was a good win for us against a very good team who were difficult to beat, particularly at this stage in the season, and it was a very important three points for us. I am delighted with the way the players have started the season but I know we have progress still to make. In a boost to the boys, Lee Griffiths, who was unable to start against Partick Thistle in Friday night's Glasgow derby win, will be fit and ready for action for the visit of Astana. They are shaping up very well, and Lee played his 30 minutes or so against Partick and looked bright and sharp and he moved well, said the manager. He has trained well so he will be fit and ready for the game, barring any major setbacks. Lee is a goal scorer and he also gives you that movement at the top end of the pitch. He has a varied approach to his game. He can run in behind, he is good in and around the box and his link-up play has improved a hell of a lot. His setting up the team to play is exceptional and set piece wise he has an incredible delivery. He is such a plus when he is fit and available, and hopefully he can be the difference for us. For the full interview with Brendan Rogers, see this week's Celtic View out now. To download a digital version of the Celtic View, click on the banner below.